the Porter Road Butcher Boys taught me how to make the most of pasture-raised beef. They lived very long, happy lives, just had one bad day. <laughs> Back home, I made a strawberry and honey syrup to pour over my brioche. Mm, yum. And now it's time for a side that's truly simple and fully southern. Today, I'm making steak for dinner, but right now I'm working on my fried green tomato salad. So I've already got one of my tomatoes sliced. I'm going to get this other one sliced up. All righty, I'm going to move these over and start dredging. I've got some flour, eggs, and cornmeal here. And to my cornmeal, I'm going to add my seasoning. I want one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of cayenne, I have a little spice and a half a teaspoon of pepper. All right, mix this up a little here. Now, start with your green tomato in your flour. Just get it in there really good. Let's put it in the egg wash and then over to the cornmeal. Now, this is gonna get a little messy. Over here in my pan, I've got some coconut oil I've already heated up. Fried green tomatoes are a southern delicacy. They're tangy and these are gonna be crunchy and we're gonna put them on top of our salad. Just a little southern taste right on the top of the salad. I let my little girl help me with this one time. You can't believe the mess. <laughs> but we were making memories, so that's okay. That's what it's all about, right? These are just gonna cook about two to three minutes aside. While they cook up, I'm gonna start my salad. First of all, two beautiful Georgia peaches. All right. <laughs> Look at there. That's a three-pointer. <laughs> All right, you want to slice these up into little dainty slices for your salad. I'm going to work on my other peach here. All righty, let's check on these little guys. Let's give them a flip. Oh, yeah. Mm, you're just looking for just a little golden brown. These are perfect. All right, let's get this salad put together. I'm just starting with a bed of nice, fresh mixed greens. And on top of that, I have a half a cup of crumbled feta cheese. And a quarter cup of slivered almonds for a little crunch. Always need some kind of little crunch in a salad, and that's a very healthy crunch. And now we'll put the peaches on top. All righty, let's make some dressing for that little guy. Okay, here's a little tip. I'm gonna do it in this little jar so there's no whisk in. All you gotta do is close it up and give it a good shake. Ready. Two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, quarter cup of olive oil, a tablespoon of honey, or a little more, and a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Mmm. A little salt, a little pepper. Put that lid on. This is so easy. Give it a shake. All right, let's get these two guys in the fridge. And time to get these fried green tomatoes out. They are perfectly done. I'm gonna put them on a paper towel just so they can drain some of that grease off. You don't want them too greasy. All right. Look at how pretty and golden brown and crispy these are. Oh, I can't wait to dig in. All right, any minute now, my friend Christian will be walking in the door. I'm gonna put him to work in the kitchen and feed him a steak. Coming up, I pair up with Sugarland's <laughs> Christian Bush as we get started on grilling up that skirt steak and making my smooth and creamy grilled corn with a kick. I like spice. There's only one word for this Southern taste and supper. Awesome and awesome. <laughs> After staking out the perfect cut of meat and simmering my strawberry syrup, I fried up those green tomatoes for a Simply Southern salad. Now it's time for some skirt steak with my friend who has a little <laughs> something more. Besides all the yummy stuff I got going up in here, I have another little goodie for y'all. Christian Bush! Sugarland, Christian Bush. Good How are today. you? I'm good. Thank you for coming to the kitchen. All you have to do is feed me. I will show up. I will feed you, but... All the time. You must work first. You yes, ma'am. <laughs> you must work for it first. All right, we're going to make some skirt steak and then a yummy little dessert for okay. later. Now, what I need your help with here is my grilled cream corn. All right. First of all, I'm going to get the it. corn off the grill, and we're going to do this old school style. Did you ever cut corn off the cob with your... 
I, grandmother. I, actually, I was upstream of the process. I had to shuck the corn. Oh, yeah. OK, before we cut the corn off, let's get that steak on the grill. All right, let me get the steak. Now, what kind of steak is this, Ian? This is a skirt steak. It, let me show you where it is. What, what, does, right it, what does skirt mean? Right in here. Skirt. Ooh. Ooh. Right in there. Very good. Right Do that again there. with the oil. Okay. Skirt. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so we're gonna dress it with a little olive oil and a little steak seasoning. Yes, that's good. Season it right on up with your favorite steak seasoning. Did you cut this steak? Well, I cut a Are steak. We, <laughs> did you cut this steak? I butchered, butchered a steak. steak. <laughs> Not this one. I butchered one and oh, honey, it, it was a disaster. Let's get it on our grill. Ready? Okay. Ooh, sizzle, sizzle. It's like Waffle House, but better. Yes, it sounds like music, right? Right? Okay. okay. We're going to cook this little skirt steak about five minutes on each side. All right. It's be perfection. Now, we're going to go to chopping those kernels right off of that ear of corn. Oh, look at you fancy chopping. Look at that. Yeah, look I didn't even go to culinary school or anything. Well, you do now. <laughs> Get your honorary degree. <laughs> Oh, look at this. I'm going to act like I'm a professional. Look at this. Because I see him do this on TV. <laughs> put okay. the knife down. You're making me okay. nervous. Just put the corn in the bowl. <laughs> all right. I can do that. <laughs> all right. Let's get all this good stuff in here. Careful. This isn't going to hurt anybody. Watch this. Ooh, oh, nice yeah. work. Cream corn's big. Cream corn? It's big in my life. Is Oh, I love cream corn. All right. We're going to start off, of course, with some butter. Three tablespoons of butter. Grilled corn. And why don't you move on down here with me? What's on this side? I've got more work for you to do. <laughs> I love working for you. Okay, I like spice. I like, really? Mm -hmm. I like a little spice in my life. <laughs> so, I chopped up some jalapenos. Would you dump Two jalapenos. Those, please? <laughs> and we're okay. going to put in a tablespoon of flour to thicken it up a little bit. All right. Now, to make it good and creamy, three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. Okay, here comes the cream and the cream corn. Here you go. But it's fixing to get creamier. Here's All what right. we're going to do. You see that little guy right there, that food processor? If you'll take the lid off of that thing and then scrape half, only half, of this into... Hold on. Here we go. Come closer here. Now... Let's say one more scoop. I'd say, yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Now... That's the cream and the cream this is, corn. This is the part they don't tell you about. <laughs> yeah, that's the When you're the doing secret. it from the can, that they don't the do it this secret. way. Yes. Pop uh -huh. it on here. Do you feel that? Uh. <clears throat> okay. Woo! Hold on. Okay. Off. Okay. All right. Now we're going to put that back in here. Right. Woo! I do stuff like that all the time. I break so much stuff. All right, look at there. See? Now Ooh. we're not done. We need three tablespoons of parsley, which is probably just about all that. You just sort of like it grab it like a rabbit? Grab it like a rabbit. <laughs> and now go to town. On you that gotta be parsley. careful. I've seen this before on TV. You know yeah. when they have cooking shows? You know about those things? Yeah. They have shows where they actually cook on TV. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and they, they bend their fingers like this. So yes! They don't get their... Yes, that and way. And then they you turn don't... it sideways. I, I, I watch television sometimes. Oh, yeah? Yeah? <laughs> All right. We're also going to put a quarter cup of grated Parmesan and a third cup of whole milk. How about some parsley? Now, do we just dump it in? Go for it. Mm, like that. Stir it up. Let's do some salt and pepper. Here, grab a spoon. Let's give this a taste. Oh, it's so sweet. Yeah. Oh, no, you got to put the salt on those, so it's salty and sweet. Yes. Uh-uh, double. <laughs> double. Double. You are a good southern boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is it wrong no. if I double dip my spoon? No. Ooh, that junk is right. Is it's it not. Ah, <laughs> junk. Oh, yes. Yeah, right? Yes. Rob, oh, okay. It's killing. Let's flip the steak, and it's going to have about five more minutes to cook. Oh, Ooh. it's a beauty, Rob. That's a skirt that looks awesome. Mm, we're going to eat that skirt up when we come back. We're going to have some skirt steak, some cream corn, fried green tomato salad, and a little goodie to top it off. Up next, we serve up my sweet and savory salad. All right, here it goes. And some grade A prime. Mm. So tasty and tender. Then the taste of the South goes in our mouth. G. Good old. Delish. My 
quest for the best beef began with two Nashville butchers committed to local and sustainable Angus. We let animals grow up like animals. Back in my kitchen, Christian showed off his skills. Put the knife down. You're making me nervous. On my creamy corn. Oh, it's so sweet. My skirt steak is resting up to keep in all of the juices. Now let's work on some yummy grilled brioche with warm honey strawberries. Will you, you grab do? your little brush okay. and a piece of bread and right. douse it with some butter. Butter both sides now, really good and get it on the grill here. Butter up both sides of butter the toast, Mr. Sides. Bush. Get it really good on there. I'm gonna make mine go the other way so it oh, kind of fits that's together. Perfect. I know. Okay, okay you do Get yours and then I'll put this mine on. Okay, mine's gonna go that way. And yours is gonna way. nestle right This is like right a little in. Smurf thing. You know, oh. In the meantime, there's a little sweet little salad in the fridge. Okay. Would you grab that? I'll get it. And I'm going to slice our steak over here. In the salad, it's feta cheese and slivered almonds and peaches. Oh, and awesome and is what it is. And top it with these precious little guys. Here, toss that right up, if you will. This is a vinaigrette made of balsamic and Dijon and honey and olive oil. It's gonna be good. I'm cutting this steak here against the grain. It's much more tender. You don't have all those fibers that make it all chewy. Now look at this sweet, juicy steak. Mmm, a little Ooh, pink inside. look at you. I'm gonna start serving you up a little plate, mister. Ooh. How about right. you give us a little bit of salad? You want some of this? And I'm gonna dish out some cream corn. We did good on our cream corn. You're excited like a kindergarten teacher, like, we did good on our we cream corn. We did an A plus on our yeah, cream corn. Yeah, we get those corn. stars. <laughs> Is this good? It's perfect, but it's not quite done. Okay. Because I have these little fried green tomatoes, a little okay. taste of the south right there on top of that salad. Mmm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> What do you taste well, first? Well, I'm going for the steak first. He's kind of the star of the show. Ooh, God, that looks good. Look at that. Mmm, so tasty oh, and tender. I'm here all day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming to your house whenever you want to cook. Mmm, yes. Fried green tomatoes. Uh, uh, yeah, a little, a little Georgia bit, peach. A little Georgia peach. All right, here it goes. I'm behind. Mmm, the sweet and the tangy from the green tomato. Mmm. Grab us some plates. We gotta move on to our yummy little dessert. Okay, are you ready for this? Warm honey strawberries. Mm. Ah! I want that to be my middle name. Mm. Christian, Christian warm, warm honey, honey strawberries, strawberries bush. bush. <laughs> this has strawberries. Well, what's that thing in That's it? That's a sprig of thyme. You never have enough time. The Lord knows you can never have enough time. Okay, okay, switcheroo. Perfect. There you go. I'll take some strawberries and you have to top it off. Uh -huh. A little whipped cream, right? <laughs> Woo! All right. This is so good. <laughs> look, they look alike. <laughs> awesome and awesome and sweet. <laughs> Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. G. Good out. Delish. Can I come back? Happy. Come back at midnight and we'll have another one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being with me today. I love this. I you love are precious. I love you. I love everything about you. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Thanks for feeding me. Anytime. <laughs> Remember, it's always better when it's simply Southern. For the recipes from this episode, go to GACTV.com slash Simply Southern. How much does this weigh? Holy cow! How much is this? 120 pounds! Get inside! <laughs>